Welcome back. Good show tonight. We have uh, Dr. Lennon Smith, uh, Marilyn Horn from the Metropolitan Opera, Milton Burrow. And this lady, somebody asked where she was from, and a gentleman from the audience informed me, she's all the way from Charles City, Iowa. And um, I guess one of our staff saw this in the paper. Um, we contacted her, and uh, I guess they flew out here. That'd be interesting. I don't know how you travel with a, a rooster. Do you have to check it? Well, I'll find out. You go first class, of course. <laughs> Depending on how your rooster is, I suppose. Anyway, uh, she has her pet rooster, Baby, who's done a radio commercial and has won two international crowing contests in Waterloo, Iowa. And uh, she is here tonight with uh, her pet rooster. So would you welcome Donna Pyle. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see now. This may cause some problems here. Uh... Yeah, right. Oh, that's right. He's not supposed to be in front of the That star. is a big bird, I'll tell you. <laughs> Boy, what a magnificent looking... He's supposed to be in front of the star. What, um... You want me to move him that way? Well, let's see. Will he, will he stand still if you move him? Oh, uh, sure. I, it's not that I'd mind him there, but uh, <laughs> if he'll just stand still for a while, and you can turn him around so he can look at us. If, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know whether he sees the show regularly or not, so he can... Uh, usually not. He goes to bed. He goes to bed early? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hear him, uh... There you are. Okay, baby. Baby, is that right? Yeah. Okay, well... Try to... That's a very large rooster, isn't it? Yeah. What kind of a rooster is that? What's the he's, breed uh, of this? I think he's mostly Silgolink. Silgolink? Yeah. There's a little red hen in the white underwear. Ah. They're red feathers on top with white feathers how much underneath. Is, uh, how much does baby weigh? Oh, around 10, 12 pounds. Yeah? How did you get out here from Charles uh, City, Iowa? <laughs> did you bring her on the airplane? Yes. Now, how did, did you check her through in the luggage? Baggage, yes. Baggage? Oh. <laughs> they wouldn't so let you take sorry. her. I guess there's a, probably a, a regulation that you can't... Uh... Yeah. If he'd been a dog or a cat, or maybe small enough so I could have gotten him underneath the seat. Yeah. Otherwise, he had to come Magnificent baggage. looking bird. You almost didn't get here. Did you get hold of, held up in traffic or something tonight? Oh, there was a communication gap somewhere. Ah. Where's so, Charles City? I, I was born in Iowa. I was born in a town called Avoca, uh, Iowa. We're up in the northeast section. Ah. Up near, uh, between Waterloo and Mason City. Yeah. It's a, it's, she's not, she won't... Uh, oh, very, yeah. if he flops his wings, watch out. Then he's ready to crow. Oh, they always, do they always flop their wings when they crow? Well, he does. Can I give him a little, well, little just, corn just here? just hold it there and see if he'll... Oh, hey, you didn't crow first. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't crow much there. No. <laughs> You're supposed to crow first. Well, it's been a, been a long trip. <laughs> You're supposed to crow pretty. How, how, did, uh, how did Baby get this commercial we were talking about, Donna? On the Citizens National Bank. Citizens National Bank? Uh -huh. They had a contest or something or what? Oh, no. They had this uh, poster advertising their New Outlooks Club. Mm -hmm. And on that was a picture of a rooster crowing, just a cartoon. Thing. Right. So I called them up and I said, uh, I have a rooster that will crow when I ask him to. Ha, ha, ha. Because that's, that's, that's unusual, right? Well, usually, yeah. Uh, right. Usually they're busy at other things. How does the crowing contest work? Is it the, uh... How many, uh... Johnny, How many you look chickens? just like yourself. Yes, do I really? <laughs> well, do. Look, she said I just look just like myself. <laughs> Rather frightening, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. How many chickens would, uh, would babe have in her, baby have in her, uh, Harem. <laughs> What's the normal ratio? Ask him. I don't know. You don't really don't know. No. Well, it's probably only. Of course, at his age, he's not too much interested. Really? No. <laughs> how old? How old is a uh, baby? He'll be six the second of April. So about five, you're on the downhill. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I think so. He seems quite well satisfied to just kind of yeah. sit around. So do you judge the crowing by the, the uh, how, how much they crow or how many times? How or? many times in a half hour? There. Little, uh, little gift from his feathered colon there. 
But maybe he caught the monologue earlier or something. Oh, okay. okay, big deal. Um, how many times did Baby crow during this? Uh, 53 times. In, in uh, what Both length of time? times he crowed 53 times. In what length of time? In a half hour. In a half hour. Uh -huh. Which is not much. Really? really? I've been to their contest when I hadn't have when I didn't have him. Mm -hmm. And this one rooster crowed 90 sometimes in a half hour. Well, how, how'd you win then? Well, this was when he crowed the most times. Oh, do they feel crowing at certain times more than other times? Uh -huh. I'm serious. Really? Certain times of the day, really? morning, early morning. Um, how, how do you get him to crow, Donna? Well, I usually offer him some corn, and he usually crows. But you know... When will that, when will that happen? I'm afraid that... <laughs> I, I'm afraid that somebody uh, made book on him and uh, throwed him one way or the other. Maybe well, he's not going to crow. Maybe he's not going to crow. Yeah, that's really what's got me worried. <laughs> wow. That's that really is a worried. bad, upset stomach. <laughs> uh, let, let me point something out to you, Donna. We didn't, uh, we didn't bring him uh, 1,800 miles to take a dump on my desk. <laughs> but since it's done, we'll do a word from our sponsor, and then we'll come back, and he's going to crow his little heart out, isn't he? Right. Yeah, either that or we'll cut it off. Well, that's right, or we're going to eat him, one of the two. <laughs> We'd like to welcome a new sponsor to tonight's show, the folks from Weyerhaeuser. Watch this. <laughs> you folks at home may not believe this, but this rooster has been crowing like crazy. It's got a... If you've never heard a rooster crow in the morning, if you live back in the, Midwest, in the Midwest, boy, they have this wonderful sound. Mm -hmm. Now, we got, we got it going now. <laughs> have they ever figured out, this may sound like a dumb question, why roosters crow? Is it like a dog barking? Is it just a, so. a showing they, an emotion? Or they... One starts to crow, and then they seem to answer each other. If they are... Uh, out of range of each other. Yes. <laughs> that, 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 that. You think that works like a pump handle? I don't know what it is, but I was just going to just in case. Oh, oh he did it again, didn't he? <laughs> is, uh, do you have other roosters besides uh, this one on, the, right on the farm? Right. You raise other animals, I assume, if it's a regular working farm. Uh, I have the land rented out. You have the land rented out. Mm -hmm. is, a, is this a valuable rooster outside the fact that it can crow when it, apparently when it feels like it, not when you tell it to, but... Uh, well... How would you get it to crow continuously now? Just keep feeding him corn. Yeah, and you say crow, do they understand? Do they have... He more or less does. Can you crow? <laughs> okay. Well, one, more, one more, babe, then we'll let, one, we'll let you one go. One more, and then you get to go off. The stage. Come on. One more. One. Not one more of this, one more crow. <laughs> Oops. Crow. Crow. Come on. Crow. Crow pretty. <laughs> ah, thank you, darling. Thank you, Donna, for coming. We hope you have a nice trip.